From the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel, with the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father Francis Salesiar. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from Rhea Bickel from Red Deer, Alberta. This Mass is offered in loving memory of her husband, Nicholas, and for their loving and living and deceased family members, also in thanksgiving for the caregivers and the Knights of Columbus of St. Mary's Parish in Red Deer, Alberta. On behalf of all who are gathered for this sacred celebration, we thank Rhea Bickel for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we continue to celebrate the resurrection of Christ, we are reminded through the scriptures of today that Christ continuously walks with us. Even when we feel disappointed, our hopes are shattered, Christ is present within us and walks with us. But it takes time to acknowledge his presence, who is always with us. So let us ask God's pardon and mercy for the moments where we fail to see the presence of God in our lives. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer at three o'clock in the afternoon, and a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gate of the temple, called the Beautiful Gate, so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. And the man fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, the man stood and began to walk. 
and he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God, and they recognized him as the one who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works. Let all who seek the Lord rejoice. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Let all who seek the Lord rejoice. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac. Let all who seek the Lord rejoice and be glad. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. On the first day of the week, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about 11 kilometers from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And Jesus said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? Jesus asked them, what things? They replied, the things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. 
But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then Jesus said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized Jesus, and he vanished from their sight. The two disciples said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. These were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then the two disciples told what had happened on the road and how the Lord had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Walk to Emmaus is one of the famous narrations or experience after the resurrection of Christ that we hear. It is so captivating and touches our lives because it models each of our journeys. The experiences of the disciples are not their own, but it could be each of ours too. We all have experienced disappointment and dreams being shattered. The anguish in their voice makes it obvious of the same. For we, we heard in the reading we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. They are going away from the central or focal point of their life. Jerusalem and the temple was an anchoring point for every Jewish person. But now it has lost its purpose and meaning for these two disciples. They walk towards Emmaus on their journey being disappointed and eyes downcast. They had placed all their hope and trust in him, and the cross and the death have destroyed everything. And there joins a stranger on their journey and who explains the scripture to them. Jesus came and walked with them and gradually dispel the darkness that beclouded their minds and hearts. Their minds were open, but their eyes were not. They seemed to have needed another encounter for their spiritual eyes to be opened, as well as for the messianic knowledge. As they insist the stranger to stay with them because it's almost evening, and the stranger takes a bread, breaks it open, and their eyes were opened and acknowledged who he was. The important thing that we need to focus on this is their experience and their response after their encounter with the risen Lord. What is the effect of witnessing the risen Christ? 
The same people who are afraid of the safety of the stranger, indicating that the day is almost near, over and the night is near, and they invite him to stay with them. The same people now take on the journey back to Jerusalem. They were afraid of the dark. They were afraid for the strangers to go in the dark. But the darkness does not block them anymore. They are filled with the light of Christ. The resurrection has given them hope. The resurrection of Christ has given them courage. The resurrection of Christ has given them strength. The journey of the disciples to Emmaus is ours too. It is possible that one time or the other, we all might have traveled that road to Emmaus and we could have experienced our hopes being dashed and crushed. But we are reminded through the encounter of the disciples that Christ is with us. Without Christ, we could be crushed, but with Christ, we have life. We have hope. We have strength. God walks with us when we are in doubt. That could be a, through a friend, a family member, or a stranger. When we come to acknowledge Christ and his light in us, we cannot remain the same. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, God walks with us when we are not sure what is going on in our lives. We are only called to recognize him and to listen to his voice. May the joy of risen Christ fill your hearts and minds. May the blessings be with you and your family. Let us bring to God our own needs and desires. Let's pray for ourselves, who are privileged to know Christ, that we may become messengers of hope and trust to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who are not able to recognize Christ in their lives, whose lives are clouded with cares of the world, that they may come to know the resurrected Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and for those who continue to experience pain in their life, that the risen Christ may give them peace and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those in the daily TV Mass community who have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book, especially those facing changes in their lives and those who journey with them, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Gracious and loving God, we bring before you all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Wash me, cleanse me, and so on. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of a duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. 
For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and affirmed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Come, risen Lord, and deign to be our guest. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this man. Let us be thy guest. The feast is thine. Thyself at thine. Lord makes manifest.